So this vlog is basically just like a mashup of our day to day. Um, kind of like all the things that we do in the day, different things, things that pop up, things that happen, screen printing, uh, stuff that comes in. So our Uline order just came in. So I wanna show you. I hate when they send these with our order because they are so thick and heavy and I swear they charge us extra for shipping those. So they're annoying. Um, but I ran out of tape. So I learned with Uline, you have to buy the big thing of tape. It's like the case 36, I believe. It actually is a lot. These used to be like 50 something bucks. This is 80 something dollars now. I couldn't believe it. But it lasts us about a year. Um, so I just reordered that because I was down to my last roll and I realized I didn't have any more. So these are what we use. I believe 10 by 12. This is the men's size t shirt. This is what we use to poly individual poly bag all of our merch and then for clients that want it bag. So they come, there's a thousand in here and they come in a pack of a hundred. And why I like to go with these is because they already have the suffocation warning label in like three or four different languages on the back. And then we just heat seal them and it's just easy, fast. And we go through a lot of these. So I was running out of those. This is the size and the product number that we use for the women's because they're smaller. So I needed more of those. And then with the tape, you get, when you order a case, they give you one of these dispensers, which is cool because we put these, like we keep one in our trailer now. We keep them all spread out throughout our shop. And then we keep them in like one in the truck. So every time they give us one, we just kind of stash it somewhere. So that's our Uline haul. This is our inventory. And these are Risen Wilds t-shirts. So these are the bags that I'm talking about. So those that I just showed you, these are what they look like. We fold them up. And then they have the suffocation warning labels there. We heat seal the top. We put our little barcode on there. And they go into our cubby system here. And since we do like manufacturing, production, screen printing here, we have to put all of our merch in poly bags or some kind of bag or something to protect it from all of the like fibers in the air, the dust, you know, all that. So... For us, we have to bag everything. I know some people don't, and I don't know how they get away with that because we could never get away with that. We tried that and it just did not work. So this way, all of our merch stays nice and fresh and when we pull it for orders, it's just pretty much like ready to go. It's easy. We've just slowly tweaked our system and it works for us. And we kind of do this for when like other people stop by to like buy stuff, they can kind of take a look at what we got. And then we can just scan out the barcode. It works really well for us. Starting off, we are printing Works Racing. Some of their new merch. They did a bunch of new designs. This is one of them. We're just printing them up right here. We did not uh, film a lot of this section. So we just got a couple clips so you guys could check it out. And see that we printed them for our print shop, Urban Anchor Print. Uh, this is the back print. Today we are just catching up on a bunch of orders. We do this thing every Wednesday called Wild Wednesday and we put out like a killer deal on one item, maybe two or three items if they're all kind of similar. And this time we did bags. We did them for $25 each, a uh, regular 45 and we sold like a shitload of them. People are ordering like two, three, four at a time. And we even made a little promo video in the back of the shop. And then uh, we'll insert that in here next. Ryan even crashed the drone, so I gotta put that in here too, so we'll show you that. <laughs> Still here, grinding away, trying to get this video up. Because somebody crashed the drone into the trash can in the back of the shop. And 
and that put us really behind. It is 9.51 p.m. on Wednesday. We're trying to get this out a lot earlier for Wild Wednesday, but we'll barely be getting two hours for it. So I'll insert the crash footage here. Um, brand new drone third flight crashed it so it flew so we finished it and got it done and <laughs> yeah down to my last three orders to ship um, all the rest have pretty much gone out earlier and then here's kind of like the next pile we're working on we did a UPS pickup and a USPS already came and this is the next UPS pickup he will be here at around four so we're gonna try and get as much of these packaged up and out the door as we can flexing on the display so this box is going to virginia 12 by 12 by 12 this is actually a buddy of ours dan he did an order of hats thank you dan and he does the wave days and he asked if we could send some stuff so i got a box together here sorry i forgot to film it before some gift cards some merch some stickers you know all that stuff so this one is going out to an event. Label printing. You know Dan likes this logo, so you get a little, little top love on there. And basically, we just kind of keep them stacking up here. That's what we're working with. And while I'm doing that, we've got a bunch of shirts we're getting ready for events. October is going to be a crazy month for us. We'll have three events, and then we're going to go do something for my birthday at the end of the month, maybe. So October is just event. We are going to be slammed. We got uh, Warks Racing. Kyle, out there in Lake Havasu, did a fat order of a bunch of new merch. So we're just finishing all that, getting them ready. I'm going to ship these as well today. And then we got a bunch of hangers that came in because we're trying to get ready for the events. And... Then we've got Sortie Tees. We're going to be printing TC Jet Pilots Sortie event. So all their merch came in. So we're going to be printing those soon. And then we've just got more event stuff. Things we got to print. Um, Ryan's just folding up Tankabago. We just reprinted Tankabago. Let's see, maybe Ryan will lay one flyer so we can check it out. Here's our Tankabago design that Ryan drew up for us it's been very popular i haven't been able to get this color shirt in extra large for over a year they got them in i bought a bunch of them and we're just restocking um yeah so ryan's just folding these up there's a little bin of them we just printed all the american flags on the sleeves yesterday and dang it <laughs> so that's good then we got shania over here Golden bag and tagging. All right, so that Tankabago, we're going to print these, the barcodes, because we're barcoding everything. All right, here's where we're ending for the day for shipping. Here's all the rest of the orders we got done going out today. Ryan is setting up our press because we're gonna print some merch for an event that we usually print for every year. 